So let us begin. Shanga. Mukam karoti bachalam panghum langhayati giri jat kripa tamaham bande si guru dinata rinam o magyana timirandasya dhananjana salakaya chakshur militam jaina tasme sri gurave namaha namam vishnu padaya krishna pristaya bhutale sri mate bhakti surutamadara swamiti namini Namo Shadhuvakta Mane Manipur Bhavaya Prabhu Padala Shadavani Prachara Niratayate Pujya Si Guru Vargavandita Mahabhava Naita Sada Purva Parya Parampara Pachalita Pracha Prabhupada Kitehe Bhakti Nirmala Nijarasa Nibritam Samrakatam Sadaram Bande Si Guru Deva Manasulacha Arja Varjam Nijam Guru Avishta Superakam Guru Ganeira Asisa Sambhu Sitam Chinta Chinta Samasta Veda Nipunam Chirupa Panthanukam Govinda Vida Mujjalam Bharatanam Bhaktan Vitam Sundaram Bande Vishwa Guru Chadipya Bhagavad Prem No Himbija Pradam Athanatva Mantra Guru Guru Bhagavad Arthadan Vyasan Jagad Guru Natva Tata Jaya Mudirai Vrindaya Tulsi Devyai Priyai Kesa Vasacha Krishna Bhakti Pada Devi Satya Vatte Namanamaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sati Sikor Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So our Dhanvat Pranam to all the participating devotees, Vaishnavas Dandavad Sumangla Didi. So, by the grace of uh, Guru Bargo and uh, all devotees, we could be able to do some humble service of uh, remembering their messages, their teaching. So, today we were, you know, thinking to discuss the topic: what is the capital that Jiva souls need to proceed towards the infinite? Does anybody know about that? Uh, what is what? What is the, you know, why we are finite and uh, who is infinite? Maharaj, fellow Maharaj. Dandavad. Guru's mercy is the capital of Jiva Soul. And uh, finite, we Jiva Soul are finite and infinite is a Supreme Lord. But uh, the connecting uh, mean, uh, link is Sri Guru. Uh, currency, you need a currency, right? That you should have with you. What is that? Hmm? Must see on him. Hmm. Must see guru. Anybody else wants to say what currency you need? Hmm. What is the currency? Um, yes. Hmm. Initially, our Shukriti, our faith brings us. The yeah. lotus feet of Guru by the mercy of the devotees. Yes, the currency and is currency is faith. Faith yeah. is the currency by which you can move towards that absolute. You must have that currency. If you don't have that, then you cannot proceed. Actually, you cannot move towards that. Hmm? Finite cannot approach infinite by its own strength, hmm? by its own intelligence. Uh, by a hard work, anything is not. What is the thing that it needs? It needs the currency of faith. Mm -hmm. That is the most important thing. So on this, Sila Bhakti Rakshak Sayyidu Goswami Maharaj, our you know much founder Acharya, he has you know uh, given very nice explanation. So he wants to read from there. Uh, so you can all see on your screen this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it is from Sermon of Guardian of Devotion, Volume 1. And Chila uh, Siddhar Maharaj, this uh, book. And the section is The Success of Faith, Chapter 3. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written Sakala Chadiya Bhai Sraddha Devira Gunagai Yara Kripa Bhakti Dite Pare Giving up everything, let us sing in praise of the Sraddha Devi, faith, whose 
grace can uh, uh, take us to Krishna. Sraddha, faith, is the most subtle thing and it is also the most tangible. It is not imaginary. We must realize that it is reality. It is concrete and not merely an abstract sentiment of mere individual consciousness. Faith is universal as the most fundamental element that can connect us with the finest object. Hmm. Uh, what is the meaning of finest object? Anybody knows? Finest, finest object? Finest objective? Hmm. Anybody? Uh, finest, you know, that which cannot be approachable by our senses, our mind, uh, our intellect, our ego. Hmm? But that's why Sila Siddhar Maharaj is saying it can be approached by something of uh, more powerful than all these senses, mind, intelligence, and ego. More powerful than that. That is faith. That can connect us, the finest objective. So let us read. Through electricity or radio, we can establish communication over a long distance. The science is very subtle and not known to anyone and everyone, uh, yet we cannot deny its existence. It has its tangible position, but faith is much more subtle and through it one can establish both higher contact and reciprocation. Subtle faith is not uh, approachable by anyone and everyone. It has its tangible existence and it may function in any circumstance if we have its peculiar contact. We cannot give false statements that we possess it. Our power and grandeur are not necessarily any proof of its presence in us. Despite great pomp and so all we uh, personify may be falsehood. We should be very cautious to maintain our contact with genuine faith. Hmm? A devotee, what Sila Guru Maharaj is saying, has to be you know, very uh, serious about this. Hmm? Having you know, that genuine faith connect, connection. You know? It's not that you, know, you are uh, doing something, you know, preaching and uh, influencing so many people bringing so much of money and doing so many things. But that, that does not mean you have faith. Huh? Huh? You may think I have faith, but it's not. Hmm? Faith is a uh, very finest thing. Huh? People may be doing it artificially huh? for some other things. Hmm? So Sila Guru Maharaj is warning here. You may be very proud that I have it, <laughs> but you, you may not have it. Huh? So, let us see what else Guru Maharaj says further. Of course, sincerity is the main requirement for faith's connection. No price, however valuable in this world, can purchase it. The qualification is lolyam, our sincere and earnest desire for the thing. No one can purchase the absolute. No price can purchase him. The absolute necessity is our sincere desire and earnestness. In insincerity, we cannot make trade with him. He is not foolish as to become an object of trade for anyone. Sincere desire for him is required and that will awaken the conception to serve him. We want him sincerely through affection. We love him, so we desire him. And to love means to sacrifice for the objective of our love. A few days back, we were discussing about how to overcome Anya Vilas. Hmm? other desires and there we need love and here Guru Maharaj is saying hmm, and to love means to sacrifice hmm, for the objective of love as we were discussing somebody has love for their family or family members uh, they forget they sacrifice their own thing the same thing uh, one has awakened the love for some transcendental plane uh, God and you know his associates paraphernalia everything that kind of thing. And the qualification is what Guru Maharaj says is lolyam. You know what is lolyam? Hmm? Lolyam? Anybody knows what is the meaning of lolyam? Hmm? 
it is hankering and greed yes hankering yes we need uh, hankering uh, i want to serve i want to satisfy i want to please uh, which type of hankering is necessary hmm? i want to uh, what you can say overcome my you know mistakes of you know forgetfulness of non serving of exploiting of renouncing that attitude i must to forget sila jiva goswami prabhu has given a beautiful definition of the word bhagavan bhajaniya sarva sadguna vishishta the supreme lord bhagavan is of such nature that everyone who comes in contact with him will want to serve him and to sacrifice themselves for his satisfaction this is the result of faith in its developed form he is so noble we shall think that if we die to satisfy him our life's objective will be fulfilled his noble quality is such that it draws so much sacrificing spirit for him it draws everything towards him die to live faith is such thing faith is such die to live the nature of faith is die to live that type of thing has to be awakened Uh, faith is not some you know superficial thing mm, how much uh, faith we have you know uh, in happy time everybody saying hare krishna uh, everybody uh, very happy taking prasadam uh, when the difficulties are imposed on you how you are practicing your krishna consciousness mm, how much you forget in yourself we see in that in the life of sila esi bhakti vens and prabhu pad how much Uh, he has forgotten his own self uh, even on the bed he was thinking about you know helping others uh, he was talking with my guru maharaj om vishnu sila bhakshu damodar goswami maharaj even when he was very sick towards his end he was telling we have to defeat these all scientists they are misguiding the society uh, in bengali he used to talk for long long time like that uh, you have to kick on their face he used to say like that uh, so much uh, He completely forgotten uh, himself. Even Saraswati Thakur was also that nature. And we see even the life of you know my Shiksha Guru Des Sila Shipad Bhakti Madhav Puri Maharaj. Uh, he himself, in the age of eighty, he prepares bhoga and offers to Lord, and you know takes that prasadam for distributing devotees in the office. Only you know few months or one year back. Uh, one and a half year back krishna kesava prabhu came to assist him otherwise he was doing all these years alone hmm? without any complaint and not only that he was giving so much of encouragement inspiration to many devotees you know like that hmm? without any help hmm? he was having so much health healthy conditions and we also know sila sidhar maharaj also was having so much health issues but that is that was not hampering anything and in a small simple place he was you know such a beautiful way he was absorbed in an higher consciousness hmm? that has attracted so many sincere souls to that place hmm? so let us read further we are in the ocean of faith and the devotees are the essential agents each help the other we are much relieved from the fatigue and the trials of a long journey if we have a companion on the association of a group uh, similarly in this ocean if we can if we obtain the help of devotees of similar nature to ours that will be most condu- conducive even our guru maharaj in a speech he delivered on vyas puja his holy appearance day uh, addressed his disciples bipad udharana bandhugan oh my friends who can give me relief from danger to me you are my deliverers from danger in the ocean of faith it is very difficult to journey onward alone so you have come to help me in my dangerous ambitious journey in the infinite you have come and you are engaging me in taking in talking about only him so you have given me some engagement otherwise to live and move alone in the infinite is very difficult troublesome and dangerous you have all come to hear something and in this exchange of talks about him 
the situation has been made very safe and easy to journey so far towards Vaikuntha. So this type of expression that Srila Saraswati Thakur to have. You are having a journey, long journey, you can imagine. Huh? Very long journey and you have to go alone. How much difficult it is, you know. Huh? But you have some like-minded you know, people uh, uh, that are going to help you in that journey. Uh, when can help you uh, with you know, some, uh, uh, what you can say, energy and encouragement. Uh, then the journey becomes more joyful, no? Otherwise, the journey becomes difficult, you know, like this. Uh, uh, dark, uh, uh, going very difficult journey. Imagine, nowadays we have flight and trains. And imagine, you know, if you are walking all the way uh, and it's deep forest and things like that, you know. <laughs> uh, a journey from a uh, plane of finite uh, to the plane of infinite. How difficult it is. And you, you want to go by your own. Uh, it's so difficult. So we need some energy. Uh, and that is coming from devotees. And Srila uh, Saraswati Thakur was expressing their gratitude uh, to the devotees that, uh, you know, by their uh, help, uh, he is feeling that he is getting some energy to proceed. Uh, <clears throat> Who is this Lisbeth Academy? Hare Krishna. Can you hear us? Lisbeth Academy. Uh, your, your mic is muted. Uh, if you want to unmute and let us know from where you joined. Okay. Uh, no response. So, Krishna Kinkar Prabhu, do you like to read from uh, the next? <clears throat> we, must, we must be conscious of our real position when we are searching for Krishna. It is not easy and also it is very easy, both simultaneously. Faith is the only capital by which we can make our journey towards the infinite. Bhakti, devotion, has no beginning and no end. Hoituki prati hatta. There is no beginning, it is there already. Before we came to know about it, it was there. It was there, it is there, it will be there. No one can resist it. That bhakti, that faith is irresistible. It is part of the eternal substance. Its very nature is eternity. None can oppose it. We will have to make contact and associate with it and the wave will carry us towards our goal. And if we can have the company of the devotees, the journey becomes very easy and pleasant. Whereas to go alone is very difficult. In the progress of our contact with faith, when we come to take benefit from devotees and have faith in them, we are more safe and our progress is also tangible comes to reality. From a vague abstract position, faith becomes deeper within us. We can then recognize many others with the same objective in life. And the journey becomes easier. It becomes conceivable. It comes into measurement. When we have faith in the real devotees, we can come into contact with such a tangible thing. So here Guru Maharaj is saying, faith is just not on anything, but faith on devotees this is very very you know important thing to have it on devotees yes uh, lisbeth academy you wanted to say anything some background noise coming uh, hello sir i am from uh, lisbeth academy sir okay can you able to hear me yes we can hear you so thank you oh, for okay, joining sir, that's from, from... Just now I joined. Uh, just now I joined, sir. Because now, just now I seen in the yeah. WhatsApp okay, the from, message. From where? You are from where? Which location? From Chennai, sir. From Chennai. From Chennai. Okay. So you run it's an nice academy. You, you run yeah, an academy. I'm running an academy. On what? For library science. For library oh. science, we oh. do conduct a uh, TNPC competitive examination oh, coaching very nice. class. Very nice. Mm -hmm. We are discussing today 
because all the mm. living entities are finite and the okay. absolute is infinite and uh, mm. what is the currency that can connect finite with infinite mm. and that is faith okay. you know mm. like we have I'm more yes i'm more interested uh, in uh, uh, watching the spiritual discourse yes yes so we are reading from an article by our founder acharya sila bhakti raksha sridhar okay. gosai maharaj who is the founder of mm. chaitanya saraswat math from his book sermon of guardian mm. uh, so mm. there are devotees our krishna kinkar prabhu from south africa and uma devi mm. from uh, london and uh, sumangala mm. didi from delhi she is a scientist okay. in uh, delhi university uh, as a research scientist she is serving there so we are discussing this topic so okay so carry on sir yeah carry on thank you yes bro uh, uh, we can continue continue okay tangle dev thus the position of the devotees is very important in our journey especially in the middle stage in the primary stage not much importance is given to the devotees with only a vague conception from the scriptures and with the help of previous accumulated merits shukriti the journey is begun but gradually the beginners find that to journey onwards to the infinite is not an easy thing we thought that with a little progress we could attain the desired end but now we find that it is not so when we come to consider the real position of devotion of what is god he is universal he is the ultimate goal we may gradually become disappointed but if along the way we take help from the devotees of similar objective we shall feel much relief by their company even though the destination may be far away the difficulties of the journey are more prominent in the second stage in the primary stage we are not very exclusive in our objective and so we do not experience much difficulty real difficulties begin when we enter into the journey exclusively with no other objective than to engage our whole energy towards that high and elevated path and if we actually achieve a touch of the highest stage the maha bhagavat stage the journey again becomes easier but the middle portion is difficult and at that stage the devotees are very important to save us this is the period of both tangible acquisition and difficulty our failings on the path to realization are to be rectified in this middle stage so here when we end yeah okay. so here shila guru maharaj is saying uh, uh, even mahabhagavats they are also continuing the journey you see Hmm? how you understand this thing hmm? maha bhagavat yeah, there seems to be awakened that purest love hmm, for the absolute and what is their journey for what journey they are making further can anybody understand this hmm? you understand krishna kinkar aran uh, here you clear the maras say again even mahabhagavats sila guru maras yeah. saying they are having the journey uh, mm-hmm. towards the infinite mahabhagavat seems to be the you know perfected stage uh, where we can the law for the absolute but what journey they are making hmm? uh, dandavat pranam maharaj yes dandavat they are uh, they are making the journey Uh, just to uh, show to the beginners to follow them mm-hmm. only this is the reason i think <clears throat> mahabhagavat even radharani uh, she is supposed to be the uh, perfect representation of service and devotion but she is also thinking uh, i have not yet satisfied the absolute uh, i am uh, so many people are saying so many bad things to me but that is not so much uh, you know uh, what you can say giving pain to me what i am feeling pain is i could not serve the absolute krishna properly hmm? and she is also trying to improve her she is not thinking that i already perfected everything she is still thinking how to properly you know satisfy the absolute that is the nature of the absolute that is the nature of infinite hmm? there is always some lack 
uh, that how can I more satisfy properly, you know. So uh, that is the eternal journey, you know, uh, joyful. Now here, uh, when we are in the middle stage, what Guru Maharaj is saying, it's a little difficult because, you know, we are flickering this side, that side, so many things, you know, obstacles. But they have situated in a stage which is not uh, further, you know, dragging them down. But yet that journey is there for of eternal degree, you know. It's not a finished thing. Oh, the journey is finished. Uh, Krishna consciousness is not something, dead thing. It's a living thing. You understand? Uh, that, that, that is that, you know, understanding. And by that, hankering, they can also, as Sumangala Didi was saying, they have that hankering. And then they can also help others also to develop that kind of thing, uh, that kind of lack that can be you know, created in others. Uh, not to become proud that I know everything and I have done everything, accomplished everything. No. So this we have to understand. Okay, Prabhu, you continue further. Yeah, um, just wanted to say something as well. The, um, yes. I was reading, Shraguru, as you mentioned, it's a continuous uh, yeah. journey. It has yeah. a stop. Yes. And sometimes the devotee is thinking that it is a race in to run. And he runs very quickly and he gets tired and then he stops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have to stop. We must mm -hmm. understand it is continuous. It's a long journey we have to travel. Yes. We have to stop and then take rest and fall off to sleep. We must go on. Yes. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes. That's correct, actually. Actually, as we were you know, knowing that, you know, uh, we, have, we can approach to that plane only through faith with the devotees. And then, uh, what way we can proceed there? By crossing devotees? No. If you want to race and cross competition, no. That is not the way. That is not going to happen. Uh, we have to satisfy and serve devotees. Uh, and that uh, not uh, giving any tiredness to others. If you are more and more eagerly serving, that is okay. But if you are trying to cross, then it will give you some tiredness, some bad, you know, things. Hmm? So that we have to understand. <laughs> okay. okay I'll read. Yes. When we enter into war, in the beginning we have much hope. We feel confident. But the real test is when the fighting begins. And when we finally conquer, we again become very satisfied. But the middle, when the war is being conducted, that is a difficult period. At that time, our co-workers, our comrades who fight alongside us are very, very important to us. I am not alone, but there are many others battling alongside me in that middle fighting period of war. Those companions are important. Some may disappear from the field, but there will be others to encourage me. Uh, you know what is this war Guru Maharaj is talking about? Anybody knows what is this war? Hmm? Anybody knows? War? Yes, this war. What is this war? Kurukshetra? Battle of Kurukshetra? Hmm? No. Huh? Any, Bhakti anybody? Marga. Huh? Bhakti Marga. What is the war against? What is that war? Huh? War against our enemies. The enemies within us. Yes. Our ego, yes. our mind, yes. distractions, uh, material activities. Yes. Uh, war against Maya, Maharaj. Yes. War against Maya. This is the war. Hmm? Maya is uh, covering us and you know, throwing us into misconception. So, <laughs> we cannot fight that Maya alone, you know. And then we have an army, you know, there are big generals and, you know, things like that. Guru Maharaj is, you know, describing that. Yes, war. It's not that you can fight and go and win like that. There are so many agents of Maya is fighting, you know. Kam, Krodh, Lobo, Mo, Modo, Master, there's so many ways it is attacking us. Kali is attacking us. Huh? And then how can you win over that? And Guru Maharaj is very beautifully describing. So let us read further. Similarly, on this journey, we may see that many stalwarts are, are falling. 
it may discourage us to see such respected persons going away, falling in the middle path. Nonetheless, in the midst of those unfavorable circumstances, there are others who are bravely making progress with unflinching faith, and they will help us. To stick it out to the end is difficult, but important and valuable. The test comes and shows us, shows how much faith we have. Nothing comes in vain, and we must take everything that happens in this way. So here, uh, Guru Maharaj is saying about, you know, many stalwarts are falling. What does that mean? There are many who have made progress in Krishna consciousness and uh, they have, they, you can say they're very qualified. They can teach others to do service in a very nice way. And when we see them falling prey to Maya, it actually discourages us. And anybody, any, any other explanation? What is the meaning of falling? Lord Pranav Maharaj, uh, yes, Maharaj in my, as, per, as per my understanding, I think they are talking about yogis and gyanis. No. 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 I don't know. What is what is the meaning of falling of stalwarts? Hmm? You see, before we've discussed that faith is the connection by which we are making progress, and then like you see in war. Uh, it is being told when you're fighting against the enemy, there are big, big commanders, captains, and all this, you know, uh, big officers. They are marching ahead and some, you know, die in the battlefield, you know. And that, does that mean that, you know, uh, the people, uh, the soldiers and others, they run away because somebody died like the great uh, officer or anything. They continue their march. And the falling here is the life is finished. You understand? The meaning is the life is finished. The life is finished. The, our life is the faith. The faith is, faith is gone. That is falling. The faith is the faith is the life. Spiritual life is based on faith. Hmm? When the faith is gone, then it may be a great person, but he will uh, made you know some advancement, no doubt. But the faith is not there. Then he has to fall down. Hmm? The faith is the holding element, you know, and faith is not there then it has to fall. Hmm? So we can say the faith is not strong. Yeah, it, 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 it may be initially it was some kind of, you know, a stronger stage, but because of, you know, some kind of uh, other desires and, you know, some unwanted things, it is being diminished, bad association. Uh, it can, you know, damage, do you understand? There are some, like we know, one person was saying, I'm so close to Govinda Maharaj, I was everything doing for him. I'm keeping his money, I'm driving for him, everything I'm doing. I have his whole message, I'm staying close to him. And uh, Govind Maharaj initially, you know, what God, they've told him uh, to establish Acharya Maharaj's position. But now he keep on, you know, doing his own independent things, uh, doing so many things uh, independently like that and polluting so many others. Uh, he's falling and taking all others, those who are holding him, if somebody is falling, and if you are catching that person, then you're all falling together, actually. That is the condition. That is the condition happens. You're just seeing his, you know, star, big stars are there on his batch. Uh, so many stars are there, big officer. Huh? But he's falling, he has no faith on Guru. He's not following what Guru said. And you are holding him, then he's falling. And he's taking all this, uh, foolish persons who are holding to such thing. We have to hold to such a person who has catch this, you know, uh, string that connecting the uh, infinite uh, is strongly connected to that. If you are holding to that, then you will not fall down. But you are holding something already falling. Uh, then what is your condition? You will be also falling with. So this is a very, very important thing we have to understand. Okay, let us proceed. There may be so many stalwarts like Bhishma and Drona who fall flat in the battlefield, but still we must go on. Karmani Eva Dikharaste Ma Paleshu Kadachana Bhagavad Gita 2.47. We are out to fight to the end. We must achieve our end of life, and we can imbibe such firmness from the character of the devotees. The Shastra will also offer helpful advice. 
but the association of the devotees is nonetheless of ultimate importance. We need lasting faith, not flickering faith. Oh, I attempted for some time, but I did not find any tangible fruit from bhakti, so I left. Oh, to me it seemed very, very vague. When I began, I thought this is to be something tangible. But I would quickly attain, that I would quickly attain, but it is not so. It is uncertain. I am giving so much energy for the cause, but still the desired result is not achieved. Previous tendencies also draw from the negative side. And so we find that many Star Wars are falling. So here, uh, Srila Guru Maharaj is saying about flickering nature of the faith. Hmm? From where it comes, flickering nature, what Guru Maharaj says here? Hmm? It comes from, you know, the previous tendencies in the past, sanskars. You know about sanskar, right? You know about sanskar? You heard the term sanskar? Any of you heard this term, sanskar? Yes, Manaj. Yeah, what is that, sanskar? <clears throat> sanskar comes from your past, you know, habits or past lives. They are actually anarthas, actually. And we have to cut those sanskar with the sword of knowledge that is given by sadhus not to attach to that. That is of uh, sanskar, the bad habit of exploitation, renounces and all those things. Not going to help us. And that is dragging us down because we not used uh, sadhus wisdom that they are giving us, the strength they are giving us, the sword of knowledge uh, that can cut the sanskars. Not use it, not implement it in our life. And because of that, we are going down. Our faith is going down. Hmm? Faith will be strengthened if we uh, accept uh, that sword of knowledge and uh, the sword of realization that sadhus are giving and uh, take it and implement in our heart, uh, plant it in our heart and practice it. Hmm? Then it will be very tangible thing and very, very you know, what you can say, fine thing. It will not going to so easily, uh, what you can say, uh, break apart. Uh, it is not of you know changing nature. It will be more and more you know strengthened. That we have to, you know, very much serious about. Okay, let's go ahead. Still we have to persevere in this journey and we shall have to take courage from those who are standing and who are deeply engaged. Though it, told, though it is told hundreds of times that the absolute is infinite, in the beginning we still tend to take it in the conception of the finite. We are accustomed to think of anything and everything in terms of finite. So although we hear that it is infinite, it is Vaikuntha, it has no limit, we nonetheless cannot grasp the proper meaning. But when we make practical progress, many new conceptions must come to our knowledge. Yes. Now when our Guru Maharaj... Yes, continue, please. Bro. Now when our Guru Maharaj addressed his disciples as Vipada Udharana Bandugana, my dear friends who have come to deliver me from danger, we should of course recognize such a statement from both the relative and absolute standpoints. Students are a necessary part of a professor. When a professor, when a professor has students, he feels the practical utility of his life has been successful. Thus, from the relative point of view, disciples can help the Acharya. But from the absolute standpoint, Krishna's will is everything. And the Nitya Siddha, or eternally perfect great soul, who inwardly know the Lord's intentions, cannot be disturbed by any danger in any respect. But outwardly, such an appearance may be manifest in their dealings. Much chitta mad gata prana, buddhayantaha parashparam, kattayantascha maam nityam tushyanticha ramanticha. Shamad Bhagavad Gita 10.9 much chita, their attention is in me. Mad gatta prana, their energy is also spent for my cause. Odayantaha parash param, they mutually assist one another. This reminds us of the Napoleonic chair. Once, when stranded in a marsh, Napoleon arranged that each man sit on the lap of another in a circular formation. 
each automatically protected the other from the otherwise fatal cold. And they could all remain awake to pass the whole night of intolerable cold. Otherwise, his, his, his army would have perished. So by mutual help, one devotee is asking questions, another is answering, and they are both getting engagement. The questioner is giving some energy, and the answer is also energizing. parasparam. Those of equal standing exchange their thoughts about Krishna. Katayantas cha maam nityam. And thereby their blissfulness is generated. By mutual understanding and discussion, a kind of nectar arises that nourishes the devotees. One is asking something about me and another is answering. And thereby the discussion creates a flow of nectar that nourishes both parties. Tushyanticha Ramanticha Satisfaction is generated from that mutual understanding and it develops up to Ramanticha, up to the quality of the absolute reciprocation, the wholesale transaction. It rises up to that standard, Ramanticha, and again, I give them a further installment, an illumination of new light. Dadami buddhi yogam tam. And they take a new course and are promoted into the suicide squad, that squadron which is eligible for every type of service. So, a very nice explanation that Guru Maharaj given. Hegel, GWF Hegel also told something like this, to be known yourself as a subject, you need another subject. How you know that you're subject? Somebody else has to recognize you as subject. You cannot just say I'm subject. So, uh, for uh, holistic uh, representation of reality, uh, a body without its its organs, what is the meaning of body? As no eye, no head, no leg, no thing. And what is that body? That understanding that this Mayavadis have, you know? Uh, uh, just <coughs> Brahma, Brahma, Brahma. But they understand all this, uh, what the differentiating aspect, uh, the variegatedness. Uh, they don't understand this. But the Vaishnava conception is not of that nature. Uh, always, uh, if there is Acharya, then there must be also disciples. And what is the meaning of Acharya otherwise? Who is teaching all those things? If there is no receiver. If there is absolute and there is no, uh, what you can say, objects of that absolute, and what is the absolute also? Absolute means already he has uh, the objects. Uh, it's energy. You say Sakti Man, and uh, you say there is no Sakti. Without Sakti Man, uh, without Sakti, what is Sakti Man? It's a Sakti Man, but no Sakti. What is this? So, uh, the exchange of the you know, things happens in this variegatedness. Uh -huh. uh, the, uh, they have to you know, work together for attainment of the goal. And what is the goal? The goal is the satisfaction of the Absolute. Uh -huh. That Krishna is saying, somebody is asking question and somebody is answering. Both are serving. Uh, they are discussing about me. And some nectar is coming out from there. Hmm. That type of thing uh, that Guru Maharaj is you know, explaining so beautifully here about the meaning of what Sarsu Thakur told about you know uh, all all of his you know that uh, you know disciples they are helping him the meaning he is elaborating like in that way you know even though a Mahabhagavat is not dependent on all other these people for his Krishna consciousness but yet what is the meaning of that? That is like Guru Maharaj is explaining. Let us continue. Uh, uh, Sumangla, did you want to read from there? Yes, Maharaj. Okay. Dhanvat Pranam, Maharaj. Maharaj, uh -huh. uh, in the previous paragraph, uh, I couldn't yeah. understand about suicide squared. What does that mean in this paragraph? Yes, suicide squared. You see, sometime uh, when when you know the war has begun. Hmm? And uh, when the fight is going on, uh, people are, you know, committing uh, some, some kind of, you know, self-elimination for the interest of, you know, what for the war has begun, you know. Uh, the war has begun and, you know, people are going and, you know, sacrificing themselves. Hmm? They're not thinking about anything else. Huh? 
Are they thinking, oh, I have to leave, I have to have this building, I have to have this? No. Now for the freedom of country, a soldier is completely sacrificing. Same way uh, for the establishment of the will of the Lord, um, for his you know, satisfaction. Uh, the self-forgetfulness is manifesting to such a degree. Uh, they are not considering anything of their own you know, separate self. Um, and they are completely you know, sacrificing themselves. Uh, it can, can be called as suicidal in one sense. And that suicidal giving the life, the soldier who is sacrificing, uh, he does not exist uh, to see the freedom. But why is sacrificing? Because of for his ideal, you know, and he is getting something, you know, on that sacrifice, uh, return of that sacrifice that may not be seen uh, by the outward, you know, ignorant souls. So that sacrificial attitude is giving the highest wealth to that soul. Uh, it's real wealth, self-sacrificing attitude, that suicidal attitude, uh, die to live. Uh, you have to die in the misconception. That is what is uh, uh, suicide. Uh, you are suiciding in that misconceived plane. They are not maintaining anything behind. Uh, not, not that attitude. That is the societal square. Uh, the jumping in uh, to the war. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. that particular type of soldier is competent to fight on the land, in the water, in the sky, or in, the, in any circumstances. And he is prepared for any form of fighting, any form of service. I direct them to that section. Yena mam upat opayanti te Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, 10 chapter, shloka number 10. Unconditional service. They are ready for any service demanded of them. They are ready to sacrifice their lives, lives for any form of service. And that particular, then that peculiar group in Vrindavan, I mentioned to Sripad A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj that in Gita, after Ramanti 10.9, chapter 10 and shlok number 9 comes Buddhi Yoga and then Upa, Upayanti 10.10. .10, According to me, the meaning is that Ramanti or divine service is Madhura, in Madhura Ras progresses through Buddhi Yoga or Yoga, Yoga Maya up to the upaya, Upayanti or the highest plane of service in Vrindavan. Shripad Swami Maharaj responded, what more could it mean than this? Hence, uh, can you explain Maharaj? Continue. Uh, hence, continue, upayanti means, okay, Maharaj. Hence, upayanti means kam rupa. In the Bhakti Rasamra Sindhu, Srila Rupa Goswami has mentioned sambandha rupa and kama rupa, the two types of ragatmika bhakti or devotion rendered by the eternal associate of the Lord, headed by the resident or bridge. In sambandha rupa, the Lord's associate cooperate according to their fixed relative position of uh, this, I think, have a um, Maharaj, please uh, drag it down. It is, it is going. Uh, let's see. Some problem oh. with the computer. Okay. Yes. yes, uh, yes. Let me see. Yeah. Is it okay? Yes, Maharashtra. Oh, yes. In Sambandh Rupa, the Lord's associates cooperate according to their fixed relative positions of Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, or Madhur. Whereas in Kama Rupa, they come forward to serve any necessities, necessity that is demanded of them. They are ready to serve any and every desire of the Absolute. They are like that group of soldiers who have been trained to, to do any service in the war without being limited to fighting only in a particular division such as the army, navy, and or air force. They are prepared for that for all so, sort of service anywhere, such as Kam Rupa group. This is Upayantite. They are awarded the instruction Dadami Buddhi Yogam Tom 
by which they earn such capacity in the service of the supreme krishna is ready to cooperate uh, with the service in any position in mathura he gave even sarendri kubja the chance to render higher service krishna is prepared for anything and so the other side his servitor must also prepared in that way the high conception of kam rupa is very very abstruse it is most difficult for ordinary mortals to comprehend tesham ivan ivan kampar kampraham aham agnanatam aham agnan jam tamaha nasyaya atah atma bhava stho gnana deepena bhava tah bhashat bhashvata this from shri shrimad bhagavad gita chapter 10 shloka number 11 i am so indebted to those devotees that whenever they feel the pain of my separation i cannot tolerate it i immediately run to cooperate with them in accepting my service such is the intensity of intensity of the demand i feel from them thank you in an examination thank you thank you very much dhanyawad uma didi would you like to read from there no sound is coming didi yes sound not coming ma yeah uh, now coming yes okay. okay i i am i am so indebted to those devotee that whenever that is, they that already that already read the okay, next okay okay next one yeah yes in an examination all many of many of us may be sit for the examination it many are unsuccessful and fail back but we are not to dwell on, on them rather we shall try to keep company with the successful candidate they should success successful candidate they should be they focus focus of our attention and with their help we shall progress progress means selection and elimination elimination and uh, there is no end of making progress we must to take courage to the extent so here guru uh, maharaj everywhere... so here guru maharaj is saying progress means selection and elimination so we have to select something and eliminate something what we have to eliminate and what we have to select those who are very successful and auspicious huh? and non auspicious thing favorable for devotion and unfavorable yeah. for devotion yes uh, krishna Ch- who is speaking this krishna chaitanya or who yes yes v- very nice bro very nice thank you wonderful uh, that is very important huh? uh, we have to uh, eliminate which is not favorable and select or accept that is which is favorable and that is the way of progressing hmm? so very nice that has to be in always remember this journey is always in you know, a continuing in that way you know everything we are seeing in connection with the satisfaction of the absolute hmm? what is favorable and what is not favorable okay uma didi please continue okay hi everywhere everywhere and uh, whatever direction we may go to we shall find both successful and success, successful candidates we shall try to avoid the unsuccessful some may be brilliant in the primary class but in progress future we find that they are proving dull dull and, and cannot pass the test and there and there may be many who were not were successful in the premier class but in the premier class but florists in the higher education thus we should not be discouraged discovered and uh, disappointed discouraged we should not be discouraged and disappointed discouraged and disappointed and hearing that so many ones expected 
stall wears the are failing of we should try to feel the actual soul soil we need to sincere acquaintance acquaintance with the soil on which which we are moving it is unintelligible to the fullest extent but must spare some energy to cultivate it a deeper feeling for where we are what we want and where we are going we must have to yeah, you must have a deeper feeling for the plane of our objective and uh, achievement we must not allow ourselves to be captured by the author charm of things but we should try to feel and trace the re reality as our friend so here very important thing that shila guru maharaj is explaining some people they may have done you know some preliminary you know thing very nicely hmm? uh, they have done you know some kind of you know works which is apparently uh, more visible to the people like some people who were staying close to guru maharaj or gurudev uh, like a guard at the gate huh? and people of often when they are coming to meet gurudev or guru maharaj they are coming and seeing them oh this person is a very great devotee you know staying close to gurudev you know they have not seen govinda maharaj so much maybe there but seen somebody who is there in the in the door gate you know always seeing them uh, like you know sila govinda maharaj time they have seen some people who are around them around go gurudev but they have not seen sila acharya dev who was serving him so much intensely staying in you know, a far in the real in you know, a service field and if you are trying to uh, think oh these people are you know they have made very nice progress uh, by staying close to guru maharaj you know um, they are taking the same prasadam that guru maharaj is taking uh, they are taking the same prasadam so they are the great personalities and whatever they are saying they are the you know, revelers of guru maharaj's will and everything uh, and we have to follow like this if you think uh, and you don't follow what guru they have told you to do guru dev told to follow sila acharya maharaj and if you forget that uh, because he was not you know uh, engaged in that you know some kind of in you know, a primary level of in you know, a service he was doing his you know higher service uh, of uh, preaching his mission uh, his message guru dev's message uh, establishing his mission bringing so many souls all those things uh, for giving the proper idea of surrender and submission all those things if he ignore that and see some you know uh, what you can say mundane way certain things if you know that some people some students also they are very good in the class 1 class 2 all those things and they uh, mug up things and they get you know very good marks in that but when they go to higher class their mugging will not work uh, their your you know uh, understanding of things works how much you realize those things uh, when you come to a masters and phd all those levels your realization matters there hmm? so there these people who mugged up thing and get some marks uh, they are all failing in that place hmm? so what we should accept hmm? those people who qualified get good marks in those primary levels they may not become professors you know but those who get less marks even but they did good in this you know higher uh, education they are becoming professor they become teachers you know uh, that anybody can understand Mm -hmm. that sila guru maharaj so wonderfully explaining here mm -hmm. thank you ma didi for reading uh, krishna chaitanya prabhu do you like to read guru maharaj thank you prabhu <coughs> everyone in uh, everyone and in whatever direction we may go we shall find both successful and unsuccessful candidates uh, i think i think it's, it is already yes i think it is already it's read covering. yes the next one we have to read the sloka klesa gni sidhada moksha laghuta krit sudulabha sandharan dhan sandrananda viseshatma sri krishna karshini chasa 
Shri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Purva Vibhaga 1.17 Uttama Bhakti, the purest devotion, is the one vanquisher of all sins and ignorance and the bestower, uh, the bestower of all auspiciousness, liberation, is belittled in the presence of such devotion, which is very rarely attained. The embodiment of the deepest ecstasy and the attractor of Sri Krishna himself. Even if we achieve liberation from, from all the undesirable forces around us, pure devotion undermines this position of liberation, moksha or aguta krit. We may be a liberated soul, free from the reactions and apprehensions, apprehension of the future, but association with the positive engagement bhakti is much more difficult to attain, sadurlabha. To obtain a passport is not the same as securing a visa. One may have a passport, but in order to rescue a visa, to secure a visa, it will have to be necessary to undergo more trouble. In other words, we may be re released by the reactionary, uh, by the reactionary plane, yet we may not have entrance into the higher plane. To have entrance, there is far beyond this liberation. The qualification to eagerly aspire to give oneself wholly for the other plane of life is hardly to be found in anyone. Such a person has no motive to acquire anything, anything for the plane in which he had previously been living for so long. Mm, so, very nice explanation of an analogy of a visa and passport has been given. Passport is very easy to obtain because you are obtaining in a plane where you can have control over, you know. You have some, you know, some, uh, some place in a government and all those things and you can apply and simply you get it. But to get visa, you need, you know, some more verification and, you know, uh, some more, you know, what you can say, confidence the other party has to get to allow you to his territory. You will not create any disturbance in that territory uh, because of your all, you know, improper, you know, conditioning. So they, they do so much verification. You know, many people, they get a passport, but how many people are successful in getting visa to different, you know, uh, countries, you know, sometimes they fail, you know, so many cases we hear. You know. Because the countries don't allow uh, the persons who don't fulfill their requirement to have a visa, you have to have uh, their requirement fulfilled, you know. So to approach the plane of the infinite, you have to fulfill the requirement of that plane of infinity. What is the requirement of that plane, you know. So then you know, they have to be confident about your uh, motive, your you know, attitude, your consciousness, then that can be granted to you. Uh, such nice analogy that Guru Maharaj has given here. Okay, Prabhu, let us continue. Krishna Chaitanya. Furthermore, if he is appointed to be a preacher, an agent to do relief work here, he will execute the duties solely under the appointment of and in the interest of that high plane without any attachment that I shall bring some good to the people. He will think I must put myself wholly at the disposal of the higher plane and I shall not be eager to become an acharya, a spiritual master. Otherwise, there is the danger of committing namaparad, offense against the, Lord, the Lord's name. So it is very, very important. Uh, teacher, teacher is also servant, isn't it? Mm, it's teaching for, you know, some service. Mm, if somebody uh, imitating uh, the teacher uh, 
and uh, not fulfilling the who is appointed that teacher you know that uh, appointing you know uh, system their requirement uh, and they just wants to uh, attract it to the you know that uh, position of the teaching uh, as a teacher to get benefit of that in you know, a position then that is not going to be very helpful uh, everything has to be done in the mood of service uh, even a guru is doing his uh, whatever way he's teaching or acharya is uh, setting as example everything in the mood of service service for that you know uh, higher will that spirit is not there then uh, all other things will manifest why it is called nam aparad why why it is called nam aparad why anybody knows why it is called nam aparad Oh. Why it is Nama Parad? Can anybody say? Oh. Not ego. No. Why it is Nama Parad? Oh. Krishna Kinkar? Why it is called Nama Parad? There's such an attitude. Oh. If I am preaching the glories of the Lord, and I am thinking that I am the one that is, you know, have this knowledge and I am the one who is doing all this, not realizing actually the Lord is doing it through me, then I'm actually committing an offense to the holy name of the Lord. Any other explanation? Krishna Chaitanya, why it is Nama Parad? Um, uh, I don't know, because probably one uh, may uh, think he is a guru, and uh, it might be an offense to uh, guru and Vaishnav. So, Pratishta is an apparat here. As we were discussing, everything has to be done in the mood of service. Hmm? If that service mood is not there, hmm? then uh, disobeying, disobeying comes. Hmm? Disobeying to the authorities, hmm? disobeying spiritual master, Disobeying the sadhus, disobeying the supreme absolute, you want to establish yourself by your own whim, then that is one of the offense, no? Disobeying. Is that not an offense? Disobeying. And then it becomes Nama Praj in that sense. So many people becoming guru. We see that at present also. So many people. Now what they are giving? They are giving only offensive names to others. They are the offenders and they are giving offensive name to others. Nama Parad. Even uh, uh, the highest personalities, uh, they have achieved some posts and positions. They are not independent. They are always dependent. Higher authorities are even there above them. Uh, like Sila uh, Bhakti Sundar Govinde Goswami Maharaj, he has made many Acharyas. Uh, at the same time, he made president Acharya. President means uh, he, every, everybody has to listen. He's not divided. Govind was not divided, the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, as America and Russia or you know this uh, London or anything. He's not divided anything like that. He made a central head. Hmm? That is Om Vishnu Sila Bhakti Nula Acharya Maharaj. Hmm? Even though there are many Acharyas, but there is president Acharya. Hmm? And everybody must follow. That direction from there. In that way, everybody is united in the mission. If that unity has been uh, forgotten, what Gurudev has given, hmm, then that also leads to some difficulty, chaos. Hmm, and we see that so many such you know cases and incidents. Hmm. At no point we are independent. Always we are dependent. Hmm. And a guru or acharya, what he is teaching by his example, uh, how I am dependent, he teaches that. How am I dependent? Otherwise, what example he's setting? He's setting an example, then he's Acharya, no? If he is himself disobeying, then how can he be Acharya? Or Guru, a self-proclaimed Guru, so many we see. Not, not only in other mission, but in our mission also, so many self-claimed Gurus. And what they're giving to others? They have disobeyed, and they're just telling others how to disobey. That's all they can give. What you have, you can give that only. If you have 
Uh, Krishna consciousness, you can give that. You have Saranagat, you can give that. If you have love, you can give that. But you have only uh, the, the you know, desire for other things, other desires, Anya Vilas, and you can give that to others. That's your wealth. Hmm? That is very important thing here. Hmm? That is only Nam Aparad. They're giving the Aparad Nam to others. Sila Esi Bhakti and Prabhupada told, go and take guidance from Sila Siddhar Maharaj. And then they're forgetting that they become independently, you know, guru and doing so many things are like that. And that is all becomes Nam Aparad like that. They're giving only Aparad now. It cannot be Sudha now. No, same thing uh, to the followers of Siddhar Maharaj. If they not follow Siddhar Maharaj's direction of, you know, taking shelter of Govinda Maharaj, the same thing. Same is happening with uh, uh, the Govinda Maharaj's, you know, disciples or even Siddhar Maharaj's disciples. They're not following Govinda Maharaj's instruction of uh, taking the authority, uh, accepting uh, the authority of Sila Chajo Maharaj. Uh, and the same function is there and we have to uh, follow that. Mm. Otherwise, what we are doing is all just bogus, you know. Mm. This is not going to give any auspicious result because the foundation is not correct. Mm. It's very important thing. You have to remember this. So, mm, let's see. Uh, Lisbeth Academy. Is it possible that you can read? Hmm. Are you still there? Hmm. Hare Krishna. Your mic is muted. If, if you can read the rest of the section. Hmm. Are you there? Okay. It seems that she's not there. So let's uh, Krishna Chaitanya continue then. Asadat Hane Vimukhepi Asrin Vati Yas Chagadasa Shiva Namaparadha. It's an offense to give the holy name to the faithless. It betrays the motivation to gain a position of the higher sphere. This is a type of mundane attachment, a spiritual tread treadery. As it's the habit of Kai caste Goswamis and other spiritual, uh, spurious lines. Rather, the healthy attitude should be if I am appointed from above, then I shall serve as appointed, and that too only for the in those who have appointed me. I'm entering that rank solely for the interest of that higher land. That should be the pure and perfect approach. So with a passport alone, we cannot hope to enter easily into that higher plane, which is Sudur Lomha, very rarely attained. But if we can enter, we shall feel Sandrananda Visashatma. Yes, the very plane itself is most happy and full of independent spirit. I desired to secure a visa to enter this country and now I find that it really is as promised. I directly perceive that I am breathing in a far higher, sweet atmosphere, a homely atmosphere that far excels anything of my previous soil. And finally, Sri Krishna Kar Karshini Chasa, Krishna himself, reality the beautiful, who attracts the hearts of all, even he is attracted by the dedication of his surrounded soul servitors. Neither power nor knowledge have any play in this domain, but sweet absolute is captured by the love of his devotee. Joy. Shila Guru Maharaj ki joy. Such wonderful, wonderful explanation that Guru Maharaj has given. So beautiful explanation. And uh, I was telling about, you know, entering into that place where you feel homely. And he has written a book called Home Comfort. Do you know what is the meaning of that home comfort? Anybody? Yeah. 
Anybody know about home comfort? Sweet home. It is not that it is a foreign place. It is mm -hmm. not that we will go there and be a stranger there. Mm -hmm. It is actually our real home. We are welcomed there with open arms and introduced to our real family. It is filled with sweetness and joy to the utmost. Mm -hmm. But how it said home comfort? What is the meaning? As we were discussing throughout this reading, uh, we are undergoing a journey, isn't it? Hmm? In the journey, you have some discomfort, isn't it? Huh? Uh, so that that discomfort is, uh, you know, where to take bath, uh, where to take first food, all those things. Uh, when you are away from your home, you feel that no discomfort. Hmm? Uh, you are far from your home. The moment you land in your home, you open the key of your door. Oh, I'm comfortable. I know where is everything. Huh? <laughs> you feel some comfort, isn't it? Everybody experience that? Hmm? The same thing that Guru Maharaj is saying. It's such a sweet place. The moment one lands there and feels it's natural, it's my place, it's my home. You know, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. That type of plane. Mm -hmm. To have to approach from here to that place, the only one currency will work for that. That is faith. Chila Sipat Bhakti Madhapuri Maharaj, when we were there in, uh, in New Jersey, he was explaining one day about the condition. The path is uh, very long. We don't know how, how long it is. And it, the road is, uh, whole path is full of all darkness. And so many uh, kinds of you know obstacles in the form of thrones and you know uh, these all you know sharp things on the way dangers and slippery the road is completely slippery and I am blind and my legs are shaking then how can you cross this <laughs> how can you cross this path hmm? only by faith hmm? those who are coming and going through that path uh, always, they have know that you have to hold their hand, and they can take us. Uh, they know. They know how to go from here to there. Uh, we are all blind. Agyana timirandhasya gyananjana salakaya chakshuran litamena tasmay sri guru bhelava. That guide, uh, that ab absolute, is guiding us. Hmm? through the agencies hmm? that he is uh, wandering in this world to help but only one currency is needed there and that currency is faith you can hold you have no faith uh, you are just oh, I will go myself <laughs> yeah? then difficult but you have faith no hmm? let me hold to this family hmm? they will take me that faith that currency is needed needed there to, to advance in that, you know, path. So, if anybody has any comments or questions on what we have discussed today, or anything else, you are most welcome to express. And was my largest, one more thing I can say, maybe I was reading one article of Shri Guru Maharaj is explaining also that when we're making progress on this path, we have to always remember that we must always remain very humble. Always very humble. Uh, I am here to learn. I don't know anything. I don't know how to serve. I have come to learn. Always remain in humility like that. And in that way, no envy will come to you. Even your ego, if your ego comes to attack you also, you can, you know, go past that ego. Always remaining humble, taking the humble, position, always giving respect to everyone around you. And very importantly, those who are helping you on this path, we must be very appreciative. Always thank them and be appreciative of those who are helping us. And that way we can make progress very steadily. How one can become humble? How? What is the process that one can become humble? What is the way? By taking the instructions of Guru on our head. 
Nobody knows how one can become humble. So the tolerance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Advocate Ramaraj. Yes, Dandavat. Maharaj, uh, as I heard from uh, my Shri Guru, that we can be humble or tolerant through the uh, by following the instructions of Shri Guru and by kicking the kicking through Shri Guru. Only this is the reason by, by, by these process we can eliminate our ego can be eliminated easily. Then we can become humble. Any any other any other answer? How one can become humble? Is it not humbleness means eliminating ego? Isn't it? How one can eliminate the ego? How? How it is possible? Hmm? Uh, no, it is not possible Maharaj, by uh, ourselves. It is mm -hmm. possible through by the uh, help of Guru. On yeah. If somebody uh, has accepted a discipline uh, and it is the business of that person to discipline uh, and uh, eliminate the ego, Many people have very distance connection with Guru, Vaishnav, Sadhu, very distance connection. They don't have any personal way of you know, serving under Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnav. So it is, for them, they are thinking happily, oh, I am already advancing in Krishna consciousness. But when they develop very strong service relation with a Guru, Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnav, then like Arjun, he was talking so many things like very great Pandita. Yeah. <laughs> Krishna was also giving him that credit. Oh, Arjuna, speak, speak. Okay. Very nice. He's discussing. The moment he surrenders, then he says, you are fool number one. <laughs> he says, you are fool number one. <laughs> says, you are fool number one. What are you talking about? You are not knowing even, even simple thing. You are not this body, you are soul. And you are talking about all this astra and everything. What is this? Even uh, Mahaprabhu felt that he become proud mm, and his guru, when he surrenders to his guru, Iswar Puri, he says, uh, you are fool number one to Nimai Pandit, he says. Murkha janiya more guru korilo sasan. Mahaprabhu saying, consider me fool number one, my guru discipline me. So we need uh, the help of, you know, that uh, personal connection with Guru Vaishnav Sadhu uh, and serve under them in a personal way, connected way, then they can help us to eliminate our ego. Then only we can become humble. Otherwise, we are only thinking we are humble. Those who are humble, they are thinking they are not humble, actually. Uh, they are a criminal mentality, what Guru Maharaj says. Uh, they are thinking, I am a criminal. I am a rascal. I am such a bad person. That's the thing that's going on. Uh, they are hard. That's that is the that is the mood manifest when we have you know a genuine connection with the sadhu, because sadhu is of that nature and he can take us to that, uh, but he I cannot take until unless we submit we surrender, and we give our control to such a person, and he can change our consciousness. But uh, for that we have to give ourselves there. Otherwise, not possible. Now we can only theoretically say we have to humble, we have to humble. It's not going to happen like that. It's just only become theory. Like my Guru Maharaj used to say, you read so many books on brain, you can never become brain surgeon by that reading. You have to practice under a surgeon. Uh, that close connection of service is necessary. Then surgeon will instruct you finest points. Mm, this is the way to do. Do it. Try it. I'm explaining you. Try it. You do like this. In that way, you will be also become expert. Not just imagination, you know. It's not going to happen in that way. So we have to serve under a sadhu. Hmm? There is no difference between sadhu, guru and Vaishnav. That's why always Guru Gobindo Maharaj used to say, sadhu, guru, Vaishnav. Always used to. There is no difference in that function. Hmm? And they can give us the realization of all those things that we are theoretically reading so much. Hmm. So all theories, and the practical aspect of that will manifest by taking, you know, proper 
connection and shelter in that way under the you know personal uh, relationship of service relations we can only relate to them through service we cannot relate to them by taking we want to go to sadhu for taking something we cannot get anything there we have to go to give ourselves there arjuna given himself to krishna krishna was not his initiating guru but his instructing guru then he given him that divine knowledge by engaging him in service now you fight i am directing you you have to fight for me i am directing how to use your fighting skill i am telling you 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 follow forget about all these things you know all this karma gyan whatever i am telling all these things your ashtanga yoga everything you forget sarva dharman paritej maam ekam saranam bhaja you follow me i am telling you you do the way i am telling you you do it then you will get it i was telling you before uh, hold your nose like this and breathe like this but i'm telling you now you fight that is that is the way you follow don't uh, try to uh, restrict only this is the way of serving no it can come in any way <laughs> you understand a crow can become a bird like garuda the sadhu guru vishnu with that power they can change a crow into a garuda that power they have they have that type of power they have but the crow has to surrender that must uh, has to have faith <laughs> we are like crow only looking for dirty things <laughs> dirty things <laughs> uh, they can make a swan drive the nectar they can make us because they are testing that they are testing so but we have to be confident about enough to give ourselves to them. that you know uh, uh, what you can say function of the absolute anything else anybody wants to say If there is nothing to discuss, then we are, we'll end our sangha here today. Thank you very much for all your participation and encouragement. We appreciate it very much. You know, by your grace, we could remember all these things. Even though uh, I feel myself only an imitator, but yet uh, sometimes imitating some nice thing is also some hope that we will one day will get it. Like uh, that day, Silacha Ji Maharaj was saying, practicing. i am speaking speaking one day i may be able to practice you are saying like that in that lecture you remember some of you were maybe participate and you were saying like that so uh, we will try you know uh, and you know try to sincerely attempt to you know appreciate all these things and take up this process seriously not just theoretically just listening uh, but we take up and implement that in our life and that will be more you know beneficial मंचकल्पतरु वस्तु की पास सिंधु भय वच पतिता नाम पावने भ्यो वैष्णवे भ्यो नमो नमः जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिब्राज कच चौधरी शिला अक्षर दामोदर गोस्वामी महाराज की जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिब्राज कच चौधरी शिला भक्ति माधव पुरी महाराज की जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिब्राज कच चौधरी शिला भक्ति निर्मल आचार्य गोस्वामी महाराज की जय जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिब्राज कच चौधरी शिला भक्ति सुंदर गोविंद देव गोस्वामी महाराज की जाए जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिब्राज कच जौत गुरु शिला ऐसे भक्ति वंश प्रभु पाद जी महाराज की जाए जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिब्राज कच जौत गुरु शिला भक्ति रक्षक श्रीधर देव गोस्वामी महाराज की जाए जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिब्राज कच जौत गुरु शिला भगवान शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत संस्था को प्रभु पाद जी महाराज की जाए महाभागव शिला गोर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज की जाए सच्चितानंद भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जाए वैष्णव सर्व जगन दास बाबा जी महाराज की जाए बलदेव विद्यावर्षण प्रभु की जाए नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर की जाए कृष्ण दास कविराज गोस्वामी महाराज की जाए वृंदावन दास ठाकुर महाशय की जाए रूपानुग गुरु वर्ग की जाए नवाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जाए प्रेम से बोलो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा साधि गौर भक्त बिंद की जाए 
सर्वदामोदर नारायण जी भक्त बिंद की जय मुरारी गुप्त प्रभु की जय सपार्षद नित्यानंद प्रभु की जय सपार्षद महाप्रभु की जय भक्ति देवी वृंदा देवी की जय गंगा देवी जमुना देवी की जय ग्रंथरा श्रीमद भागवतम की जय चैतन्य चरिता में चैतन्य भागवत की जय भक्तराज प्रहलाद महाराज की जय शुद्ध भक्ति विघ्न विनाशन भगवान नरसिंह देव की जय जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्र सुदर्श संजीव की जय जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जय मायापुर नवदी धाम की जय अपराध भंजन पार्षि कुलदीप की जय जय श्री गुप्त गोवर्धन की जय जय श्री सदा शिव गंगा दीव की जय जय श्री मथुरा वृंदावन धाम की जय जय श्री श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की जय जय श्री चैतन्य सारस्वत मठ की जय तद विश्व आप सकाशमो की जय तद विश्व आप सेव पिंद भक्त बिंद की जय श्री चैतन्य सारस्वत इंस्टीट्यूट की जय प्रिंसटन भक्ति वेदांत इंस्टीट्यूट की जय संवेद भक्त बिंद की जय जय श्रीपाद कृष्ण किंकर प्रभु की जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु की जय उमा दीदी की जय सुमंगला दीदी की जय समस्त समवेद भक्त बिंद की जय हरिनाम संकीर्तन की जय कोलकाता की जय निताय गोर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि हरिभ दंडवाद महाराज की जय जय दंडवाद टू एवरीबॉडी सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर पार्टिसिपेशन लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू मीट यू अगेन स्टे वेल हरे कृष्णा धन्यवाद धन्यवाद